video, I'm going to talk about what's in my scalp oil, okay? And I do use my scalp oil. I'm just like chilling out, okay? Thank you guys for being into the Webby course. I'm just like fixing a knot. Thanks for being into the Webby course. You guys love it. You're totally excited about it. You're buying it right up. And I love you guys. I hope you enjoy. Just totally enjoy the information. Enjoy transforming your hair and growing your hair super long with all the amazing tips that I teach you in that course, okay? So I really hope you get on that. But here is somewhat of a little piece of what I talk about in the course, which is what's in my scalp oil, okay? My scalp oil is one of the major things that I use to actually grow my hair, okay? My scalp oil, like what's in it? I'm just like totally detangling my hair right now. What's in my scalp oil? It's a simple mix. It's like a, a growth oil, okay? So what's in it? Majorly castor oil. Castor oil is one of the major ingredients that's in it. So I got castor oil up in here. And I like to use like as far as the brand names of things. I specifically like to use the Jamaican lamb mango and lime black castor oil, but I usually use the clear, but I've been using the black one for a really long time and I haven't found a difference in the black versus the clear hexane free castor oil. So either one doesn't matter, but this is really nice. I like the black castor oil, Jamaican black, mango and lime, and this is a lemongrass flavor. I actually hate the lemongrass flavor. I prefer the papaya, but this is all they had, and so I just got out of the store like really quickly in the beauty supply store. I do not like the lemongrass, but it's not the end of the world, okay? So, what's, this is the main ingredient in my hair growth oil, my Jamaican black castor oil, and then I have my extra virgin olive oil, it does not matter what brand, I put extra virgin olive oil on top of that, and then I make it tingling. So in order to make it tingling, I use, usually I like to use like some um, eucalyptus oil, but this time I'm using peppermint essential oil, and I put like 20 to 40 drops in there because I'm very liberal. Usually I fill it all the way up to the top. You have to be very um, cautious about essential oils because they are damaging to the skin if you use them um, immediately on the skin, okay? They have to be diluted, dissipated in other carrier oils like say castor and EBOO, okay? So that's what I do. Usually it's up here. If it's all the way up to the top, I will put like 40 drops in. I really go ham on it. If it's like in the middle, I'll just put like 10 to 20 drops in there, okay? So dilute it, there's a ratio and stuff like that, okay? This is a peppermint. So I normally use eucalyptus as a peppermint oil and I really love the peppermint oil. It's very luscious, effervescent, and tingling. And the tingling is what? encourages hair growth. I usually also like to mix rosemary essential oil in there, but this time I didn't have any rosemary, so I didn't put any rosemary essential oil because I use all my rosemary essential oil, so I usually combine rosemary essential oil because it's good for hair growth and eucalyptus essential oil, but this time I'm just using the peppermint essential oil. Do you know they also have the castor oil that comes in the rosemary bread, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. I like to buy the rosemary, but the papaya is definitely my favorite. Okay, so I use this, I put, I like to wet my scalp before I put this on because it's more moisturizing that way. People don't talk about that. Wetting your scalp fingertips and your scalp with just plain water before you put your scalp oil actually enhances the hair growth process for me personally. I think it might work for you guys as well. So definitely give that a try. Okay, this is really, really beneficial. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.